My typical day usually involves me waking up, getting dressed, and heading out. But there's always one thing I make sure I never leave home without, and those are my earbuds. Music is an important aspect of a lot of people's lives, and with the increased obsolescence of wired earbuds, most people find themselves going wireless. Apple capitalized on this trend when they took out the headphone jack by releasing the AirPods, which till date are the best-selling wireless earbuds in the world. But today we're taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy Buds, which were released at around March 2019, and I got mine around September of the same year, and they have been my primary audio consumption device since then. And I can comfortably say they have been an amazing experience so far. But with the release of Samsung's fourth generation of Galaxy Buds, the Galaxy Buds Pro, does it still make sense to get the original Galaxy Buds in 2021? Stick around to the end of the video to find out. Hey there tech heads, and as we all know, the Samsung Galaxy Buds come in this small pill-shaped case, similar to that of the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus, and I think this is a bit more pocketable than the case of the Buds Live and Buds Pro. The case extends the Buds battery life from 5 hours of playback to about 11 hours by providing an additional 6 hours worth of charge. This is one area where the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus are superior as they give you 11 hours of playback time with an additional 11 hours in the case, giving you a total of 22 hours of battery life with a fully charged case. The Buds have USB-C and even have wireless charging so you can charge them with any Qi capable charging device and even reverse wirelessly charge them on your phone if you've got that feature available to you. The design of the Galaxy Buds still hold up very well as they look identical to the Galaxy Buds Plus and very similar to the Galaxy Buds Pro. The only iteration with a completely different design so far is the Galaxy Buds Live with their bean shaped buds. You can check out my review of the Buds Live via the iCard above. They've got the in-ear silicone tips which help with passive noise isolation as these do not have active noise cancellation and they've got wing tips of various sizes as well to help them fit snugly in your ears. Unlike the AirPods 1 and 2 which have the hard tips and hardly fit in my ears personally. Now, moving on to the part you've all been waiting for, the sound. How does the sound quality of the Galaxy Buds hold up in 2021? But before that, there's still something we've got to do. Connect the Buds to our device, right? So let's take a look at the connectivity and the companion app for the Galaxy Buds. The Buds pair quite seamlessly with your Samsung device or any device that has the Samsung Wearables app installed, but it is not as seamless as the AirPods experience because you still have to tap it a few times in order to set everything up. After the Buds have been paired, then all you need to do is open the case and then the Buds connect to your phone successfully. The Bluetooth device is connected successfully. The Galaxy Wearables app is packed with features to enhance your listening experience, such as an equalizer, which I found sounds best on the dynamic setting, an ambient sound, which allows external sounds come into your ears via the external microphones of the Galaxy Buds, and the Find Your Buds feature as well. As for the sound quality of the buds themselves, I'd call them a pretty balanced experience. The bass isn't too pronounced and you get more detail in the mids and highs, which seems to be a reverse of the Buds Plus, which focus more on the bass and a bit less on the mids and highs. The sound quality has significantly improved in my opinion thanks to the many software updates they have received since launch. The Galaxy Buds use Bluetooth 5.0, which means latency is quite low and they've got quite a reasonable range. You've got touchpads on the exterior of the buds which let you control your media via various tap configurations. Tap once to play or pause, tap twice to go to the next track, tap three times to go to the previous track, and hold on the touchpad to trigger your customized command, which could be summoning your voice assistant, changing the volume levels, or turning on or off ambient mode. Alright, so this is a sound test of the um, Samsung Galaxy Buds, the OG Galaxy Buds. Um, initially, the microphones were set to not be very great for phone calls, but I think they've gotten much better after receiving a couple of software updates. So uh, let me know how they sound in the comment section down below. 
and also if you enjoy the videos this far please make sure to smash that subscribe button you would highly appreciate it let's get into the next thing now as good as the galaxy buds are they definitely aren't without their caveats the lack of <laughs> as good as the galaxy buds are they definitely aren't without their caveats a lack of active noise cancellation which is a feature becoming more and more prominent in truly wireless earbuds is missing in these there have also been cases where one of the earbuds drains significantly faster than the other the right earbud to be more specific or it just fails to connect to the phone completely i have had one case where my right earbud drained significantly faster than the left one but it was resolved with a software update and i have not had the problem since then but it is something that you should keep in mind before you get this device but all in all would i recommend getting the galaxy buds in 2021 well, it's a little bit more complicated because you can get them for less than $100 and they deliver amazing value at that price. But then for not significantly much more money, you can get the Galaxy Buds Plus, which deliver better battery and better microphones. And if you can afford it or money is no object to you, then you can definitely go for the newly released Galaxy Buds Pro, which do have all the advantages of the normal Galaxy Buds but with some new features as well and they've also got active noise cancellation. If you've already got a pair of the normal Galaxy Buds then I don't think it's imperative that you switch because I still want for nothing with my normal Galaxy Buds. If you did enjoy this video please kindly like and subscribe as a lot of work went into making it and check out my previous videos as well. Stay cool, stay safe, wear your mask as always and I'll catch you in the next one.